Naam, e, katika taarifa ya utangulizi ambapo mchujo wa kusaka kikosi kitakachowakilisha Kenya katika mbio za dunia kule Budapest nchini Hungary, mengwananga hii leo kwa jumla ya wanariadha 12 wakiwemo Faith Kipiegon na Nicholas Kimeli wakipata e, kama wakitoa tiketi katika e, siku ya kwanza ugani nyayo. Tuungane naye basi Davis Mberia tujuze jinsi mambo yalivyokuwa na kijibaridi cha ugani nyayo mambo yalikuwa kuaje na kando na hao e, wadau wanasemaje huku e, wanariadha vigogo majina tajika wakijitokeza kusaka tiketi ya Budapest Davis Mberia Shukrani sana mwenzangu Hassan Juma kule studio ni hapa katika uga wa Nyayo ni bila shaka mashindano ya kusaka kikosi ambacho kitakuwa kinawakilisha Kenya katika michezo wa mariadha za dunia ambazo zitakuwa zinaandaliwa kule Budapest kuanzia tarehe 19 hadi 27 mwezi Agosti mwaka huu na bila shaka baadhi tu ya mbio ambazo hasa zimeeza kushiriki hii leo mtazamaji ni eza kupitia tu baadhi ya matokeo ambayo ya eza kudhirika hii leo mapema hii leo muda ama mida ya saa saba mtazamaji basi tuliweza kushuhudia ushindani mkali ukiweza kutokea katika mbio za mita alf kumi na matokeo basi Nicholas Kimeli ambaye ni mshindi wa medali hapa ya fedha katika mashindano ya jumuiya ya madola keza kutoa ushindi ndani bila shaka ya muda pale wa dakika 27 na saba na sekunde 20 nukta uh, 84 katika nafasi ya pili alitosheka Daniel Ebonyo ambaye aliweza kumaliza nafasi ya pili ndani ya muda wa dakika 27 na sekunde 21 nukta 51 huku naye Bernard Coach akija katika nafasi ya tatu ndani ya muda wa pale dakika 27 nukta 24 pale na sekunde 24 kunradhi nukta 40 ne mtazamaji pale, uh, pale uh, kumka kwamba hapa Nicholas Kimeli pia amejikatia nafasi ya moja kwa moja na baada tu ya mashindano hayo tuliweza kuzungumza naye na hii hapa bila shaka ni kauli yake kuhusiana na maandalizi na kuhusiana na ushindani ambao atakuwa anatarajia na saa analenga medali ipi katika mashindano hayo bila shaka ya mbio za dunia kule Hungary I know the 3000 meters me kwa challenge sana coming to coming previous years it me kwa ngumu to pate medal but we are promising we are praying we are putting God fast so that we can change the mind that they have remain in the people that Kenya cannot win the 3000 again so maybe this year it's our year so we promising you just be patient we going to focus for the Kenya if uh, as ourselves we can when we cooperate we do our training because we know we still have time like one man and some days so we still improve in speed so i know when after this trial we'll be coming together to assist each other and do some speed work because our challenge is more in speed we don't have with the last lap we will be leaving behind but we are to improve in speed work Nicholas Kimeli akiweza kuzungumzia lengo lake na azma yake katika mashindano ya dunia lakini bado pale tu katika mchuje huu wa kitaifa baada ya mbio hizo tuweza kushuhudia ushindani pia ukitokea katika nusu finali ya mbio za mita moja na tukizungumzia mita moja basi Kenya tunayo fursa kubwa kwani tunashikilia rekodi ya bara Afrika rekodi ambayo inashikiliwa naye Ferdinand Manyala na aliweza kutimka katika kundi la pili akiweza toa ushindi katika nusu finali ndani ya muda wa sekunde kumi nukta sufuri tisa mtazamaji na katika finali kesho tunashuhudia ama tunatarajia kwamba atakuwa anatoa ushindani mkali kujihakikishia nafasi katika mbio hizi za kule Hungary na moja kwa moja basi bila kupoteza wakati najiunga naye mshikilizi wa rekodi bara Afrika mtazamaji katika mbio za mita moja Ferdinand Manyala nusu finali kwanza hii leo ime kwa kuaje kutokana tu na makando na kijibarija ambacho tunashuhudia <laughs> na imekuwa poa cuz uh, unajua 10 bado ni time fast so si time slow 
so na appreciate nimeran fiti execution yangu ilikuwa poa so nitaenda nirudie rudie nione itakuwaje yeah. Uki, ukizungumzia kuhusiana na kurudia hapa uh, kubwa tumeona mashabiki walikuja hapa kwa ajili yako kesho una unaahidi nini kesho tuna hope kwenda sub 10 because uh, ni race ya mwisho Kenya hii mwaka so tuna hope kwenda sub 10 Yeah. Mashindano makubwa haya kwa ajili yako. Ukipata tiketi lengo kuu hasa utakuwa unaangazia kupata medali ipi? Of course nataka gold. Tukienda World Championships na niko ready. Hii mwaka nimekuwa consistent yoni kwa maana so niko ready for your gold. Yeah. Unaisi kwamba mashindano ya poa wale ya kimataifa yamekuandaa kwa ajili ya mchujo huu na pia uh, kwa ajili ya mashindano ya jayo ya mbio za dunia? Of course uh, for, lakini hii ya leo imekuwa ka training because tuko kwa training phase so atujaanza ku down down training kwa sababu the main goal ni world championships so na hope vitu zitaenda poa na najua vitu zitaenda poa tukiingia world diamond league zili ni prepare vizuri because najua nimekuwa ni compete na tunaenda kuparana na world championships so ili ni shape poa sana ukizungumzia kuhusiana na kukata muda ulikuwa unalenga kuweza kukimbia chini ya muda wa pale sekunde kumi ya uingie tisa Unaisi kwamba ni lengo ambalo unaweza afikia na je ni wapi ambako unaboresha ni kuanza kumaliza ama kati? Ah uh, tushakimbia under 10 mara mingi so. <laughs> Nimekimbia mwaka mara saba so hiyo ni hiyo ni achievement. Ah uh, tukienda forward sasa ni win win win. Sasa hivi events zimebaki ni kuwin 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 kabisa paka mwisho. Yeah. Ushindani mkali utakuwa unaushuhudia kule katika mbio za dunia na pia umeushuhudia katika uh, ligi ya Almasi mikondo iliyokamilika na ukaweza kutamba. Unahisi kwamba ni wapi ambako unafaa sasa hivi kuangazia pakubwa? Sasa hivi ni ku maintain to your focus na ku reduce pressure because najua championship kubwa kai hizo zinakuja na pressure mingi. So ni ku maintain to focus tusijipate tumezama kwa pressure na ku maintain to tusijipate tuko excited pia because unajua unaweza una vitu zinaenda vizuri uko uko over excited or lose it. So sasa ni ku maintain to focus vila tuko hadi mwisho. Hadi vila tutamalizeo finali ya mita moja pale Hungary. Unaisi kwamba una shinikizo fulani ambalo lipo nyuma yako kimda manake wengi wanakutizama sasa hivi wale washindani wako wa mataifa ya kuleo haibuni wameangalia sasa umanyala huyu ni Mwafrika ambaye anakuja kwa kasi zaidi ndani ya miaka miwili umefanya majambo makubwa zaidi unaisi kwamba una ushindani na una shinikizo ambalo lipo begani mwako of course competition iko but unajua for me nikienda kwa rest wao wasiangalie competitors mimi najua niko ready na hiyo goal tunaipata. Na itakuwa mara ya kwanza Afrika kupata medali katika mita mia moja kwa mashindano ya ulimwengu. Yeah. Pengine muda ambao unalenga huko ndani kuweka historia? Ah uh, like vile nimesema tunataka win win win. The remaining part of the season hizi miezi mbili ni kushinda kila race. Ndio. Pakubwa tulikuwa tunaangazia nikizungumza na wewe miezi iliyopita kidogo ulikuwa unasema kwamba Gatlin ni baadhi ya waliokuwa vielelezo wako ambao ulikuwa unawaangalia zaidi. Sasa so, hivi mnashindana naye, unamweka nyuma, unamshinda. Unahisi vipi yani? Uh, ni, ni achievement uh, but unajua hiyo ni experience na gain. So ni achievement mzuri na tukisonga tukiendelea mbele na jua mambo itakuwa poa. Na jua mambo itakuwa poa na Saif lan mesema na compete against myself. Ndio. So, sahi sioni kama kuna competition kabisa. <laughs> kwa mashabiki ambao unatarajia kwamba watafika huu katika hapa katika uga wa nyayo kwa ajili ya finali hapo kesho? Ah, ni muona tunamaliza, si ndio mwisho tuna, tunafunga mambo hapa. So, wakuje kwa wingi, wakuje waone race yangu ya mwisho Kenya kesho jioni saa tisa. Na wakuje tufurahie pamoja kiingia kwa hiyo timu. Yeah. Maua tayari yatakuja. Nani? Maua tayari naona leo wamekuletea sasa na isi kwamba kesho yatakuwa lori kubwa la maua. Kesho naona ni kanta itajaza hii track. <laughs> Lakini nashukuru sana. <laughs> Kauli yako ya mwisho? Ah ni kusema tu tunashukuru Mungu. Tunaomba Mungu aendelee kutulinda tukienda kwa mashindano ya ulimwengu.
Bila shaka huyu amekuwa bingwa katika ama mshikilizi wa rekodi ya mbio fupi za mita moja bara Afrika Fadnan Manyala akizungumza nasi kuhusiana na lengo lake anasema kwamba basi mashindano ya leo ya nusu finali ni mazoezi tu manake kesho ndio sasa analenga kukimbia chini ya muda wa sekunde kumi mtazamaji lakini muda mfupi uliopita tuliweza kushuhudia mtazamaji katika mbio za mita 5000 kwa kina dada zikieza kutamati kana matokeo basi yakawa mshikilizi wa rekodi ya dunia katika mbio za mita 1500 kwa wanawake ambaye ni Faith Kipiegon akitamba katika mbio hizi baada ya kuandikisha muda hapa wa pale dakika 14 na sekunde 57.90 mtazamaji akieza kufuatiwa kwa karibu na Lilian Kasaiti ambaye alieza kukata utepe ndani ya muda wa dakika 14 na sekunde ya msini na sita nukta hamsini katika nafasi ya tatu alitosheka hapa Margaret Chelimo ambaye aliweza kuja wa tatu ndani ya muda wa dakika 15 na sekunde 07.49 na baada basi ya mbio hizo za mita 1500 kwa kina dada tuliweza kuzungumza naye Faith Kipiegona anasema kwamba licha ya kutamba katika mbio za mita 1500 pia analenga kuile ya Kenya nishani ya dhahabu katika mbio hizi za mita 1500. I'm so happy uh, first of all uh, I was uh, targeting to run the best today at uh, 5000 event. Uh, I have the wild card uh, in 1500 and then I thought yeah let me do the 5000 uh, because my main big, uh, big goal is 2025 to uh, 2024 of course Paris Olympics to see if I can double but also this year I hope uh, going forward to Budapest I might double uh, um, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to uh, to defend my title in uh, Budapest in uh, 1500 meters but that is my big fish that is what I'm uh, I, I was focusing uh, since starting of the season uh, knowing that I have very uh, busy season this year uh, uh, with the world records and uh, and uh, Budapest world championship so world record was the first thing I achieved and now i'm going for the second achieve uh, which is gold medal in uh, budapest bila shaka huyo ni Faith Kipiegon ambaye amezungumzia pale atakuwa anapata fursa kubwa ya kutetea taji lake katika mashindano haya ya mbio za dunia ambayo itakuwa inaendelea kule Budapest Hungary mtazamaji kuanzia Agosti 19 hadi 27 basi ni siku ya kwanza mchujo huu wa kitaifa katika uga wa nyayo na pia tunashuhudia ama tutakuwa tunatarajia finali ya baadhi ya mbio ambazo kwa zinaandaliwa hapo kesho kuna kwamba basi Kenya tunaweza kujipatia kikosi ambacho kitakuwa kinatamba katika mashindano hayo kumbuka kwamba katika makala ya mwaka jana tuliweza kuzoa jumla ya medali kumi tukiweza kumaliza katika nafasi pale mtazamaji ya nne lakini katika lengo kuu la shirikisho la AK inakakaje tuliweza kuzungumza awali pia na basi afisa kutoka shirikisho kisho la bila shaka uh, riadha nchini mtazamaji Korir akiweza kuzungumzia lengo kuu na pia zile sheria ambazo zilieza kuwekwa na shirikisho hili kuna kwamba tu ni wanariadha pekee ambao wamealikwa watakuwa na shiriki katika mchujo huu wa siku mbili hapa ugani nyayo hii hapa kauli yake Korir you have seen the, the results of the first uh, event of the day you have the 5000 meters women and uh, of course fate uh, has won and that's what we were expecting the possibility of our doubling is uh, what we were thinking so that she can run the 1500 and the 5000 meters we are the 10000 meters men also well kimeli is also in very good shape and yet qualified epeño the same thing so we are uh, optimistic that uh, we are going to have a strong team although uh, going by the results from other athletes from other parts of the world uh, it's going to be a very tough competition but i'm sure that uh, our athletes normally kenyans uh, do very well during a very competitive environment so we are sure that uh, the team that we are going to select is going to compete well and uh, uh, win medals for this country well, manuel gorir is uh, injured he had a problem with this uh, foot even 
during the Gipeno Classic, he was supposed to run, but he did not because of that injury. We have seen also him running uh, during the Diamond Leagues, and he didn't fare well. So we are still hoping that uh, he's able to compete during the World Championship because he has a wild card after winning the, the, world jump, uh, the, the last World Championship. However, uh, we have uh, the young athletes that are coming up also. Uh, if uh, Wanyonyi makes the team and Kinyamal and the other ones also, we cannot dismiss because those are very strong uh, contenders and I'm sure that uh, the possibility of us winning is very high. Even when we went to the Olympics last time and the World Championship, nobody thought uh, Emmanuel is going to win. So we will, we cannot be surprised if Kenyan win. So we are still sure that uh, the Kenyan team that will be selected will do quite well. Asan Juma hayo basi ndio matokeo ya leo na tunatarajia kwamba siku ya kesho itafana zaidi mashabiki wameza kujitokeza kwa wingi kama mpiga picha wangu basi Timon atakupa tu taswira kamili na ni baadhi tu ya shambra shambra ambazo zimeeza kuwapa wanariadha motisha zaidi ya kuonyesha ukakamavu wao na kuweza kusaka basi tiketi hii ya kipeke kuweza kupeperusha Mm, nguvu yetu mpya hiyo DM yani Davis Mberia uh, kitu uh, 